it's that time again I'm so excited so I'm filming in a new spot this week and I'm really excited because me and I've been cleaning up my studio all right so this is this uh, March this month is March this is March's art snacks box a cotton candy dum dum yum yum I like dum dums these are probably gluten free right we're gonna find it out mm. all right Oh, it tastes so good. It tastes like childhood. Yes. Okay. Put that away. You want to share my lollipop? I have a little bit of pink eye, but it's not probably contagious that way. All right. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not. I'm on antibiotics and I'm getting better, but don't spend time with little kids. That's the uh, moral of the story. This is exciting. I don't know what it is. I'm just kidding. Sort of. Oh, I thought it would be India ink. It is liquid watercolor by Ecoline. I've never used this stuff. I'm not much of a liquid watercolor girl. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, just a little pencil. Ooh, but what is this? Ooh, I got an official art snacker pin. Ooh, that's cute. I'm definitely gonna put this, where are you? With my other enamel pins for sure. All right, and we have a card, and it's got spoilers, so we're not going to look at it right now. This doesn't feel as chunky as the last box, so let's see what's in it. Oh, no. More markers now. All right, what do we got? A brush pen. An Ecoline brush pen. It kind of looks, I'm not going to lie, kind of reminds me of the Crayola markers, but I'm betting it's nicer than that. So it's apricot. So my skin tone, Caran d'Ache, Caran d'Ache, whatever. Fancy. It's French and it's a pencil, so it's probably really nice. It's not red. What the? It's just a pencil? It's not a red pencil? Okay. King Art ink line pen. Is it blue? I'm feeling a little, a little tricked here, so. Oh, it is, I think, a blue pen. Yeah. It's kind of like a micron, but blue. They used to make colored microns. Do they still? And then another liar pencil. It feels very um, old-timey. It's like wood, and it's not been, you know, painted and such other than the little Y on the end there. It makes you think it's going to be a red pencil. So I got two two pencils. Um, I've got an HB and an HB. So, uh, okay. Um, and a blue pen and a peach marker and some Ecoline and um, no brush for this. So What's a skeleton's favorite art form? Oh, sculpture. Oh my God, these are the worst jokes. The Karandash Swiss wood pencils are a staff favorite. If you sniff the tip of the dark beech wood, you get a whiff of brown sugar. I love sugar. Oh my God. I won't want to have a pencil stuck up my nose. Yes, I am a 31-year-old lady. A uh, Royal Talons Ecoline brush pen. Is that this thing? Yeah. This brush pen has brilliant transparent color. Seamlessly transition from bottle to pen. What? Pens tip directly into the bottle to experiment with gradation. Okay, what? So is this going to make my pencil dirty? I don't want to, or my marker dirty? I don't want to taint, taint, taint blah, 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 blah. I don't want to taint my marker. Anybody else feel like that? Like... Last month with the palette packs, you're supposed to touch the tips together, which just sounds weird. And now this, I'm supposed to dip it into the ink that isn't the same color. Okay. And then an advertisement to get on mix. And I don't know how to social media, so no. Okay. Usually there's like a little paper sample in there, but, or at least there has been in every other two boxes that I've opened. So I don't know. But I have this one from uh, the July box that I got uh, a couple days ago. But it's got a dropper. It does have a dropper. Ooh, I love it. I love playing with droppers. Is that weird? I don't know. More sugar. Mm, tastes like 4th of July. Anybody else? 
when you were a kid, like, go out to a parade where they threw candy and you're, like, running around in the street almost getting hit by, like, horse carriages for, like, a lollipop? Anybody? Um, let's see. What do we got? Hmm. Ooh, that's a really nice, faint, light color. Does it layer on itself? I like this. This is my kind of marker. A+. plus. I don't like it when they come out super pigmented and there's nothing you can do with it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so it says to dip this into the ink. And so, okay, I got it really dipped in there. Oh, it's me in the summertime. How long will it take for it to go back to normal? Will it ever go back to normal? Oh no. Whoa. Oh, 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 wow. I like this. This is much better than the um, the Karen brush markers, I think. This is, uh, this is much better. I would actually use this for stuff. This is really cool. Is it actually watercolor or then that's watercolor? I don't know, mind blown. I love it, okay. Now this ink line pen, I mean, it kind of just looks like a micron pen. I don't know. There's so many pens nowadays. I remember when I was starting out, it was like there was Micron Pen. Or that, that's it. The stuff does not chew up the paper like the Karen markers did. So that's also fantastic. Since the pack this month didn't come with any paper samples like it has in the previous two boxes I've opened, I'm no expert on this, so. I don't know, does it always come with paper? Anyway, I thought I would let this Canson that I got in the palette packs last month have a chance to redeem itself and see if it would disintegrate like it did last month with the Karen markers. I wasn't really sure what I was going to draw starting out. I kind of just, I had a little bit of a vague idea of what I could do with the two colors that I have. And I just kind of went from there and it actually evolved into something completely different than what I thought I might draw. So I really am enjoying these boxes a lot and I am saving all of these little pieces of art that I've been making from these boxes. And I think I'm going to affix them all into some kind of a sketchbook or something. This has given me an excuse to draw some things that I don't normally draw because the sort of professional work that I do doesn't really require me to draw these sorts of things and it's interesting um, it gives you like a new perspective I guess on your art and it gives you a chance to kind of open up and draw some stuff that doesn't really have a lot of pressure on it I guess I always feel a lot of pressure when I'm sketching things that I might eventually paint or whatever and this has been a really nice, relaxing, sort of, um, you know, art is fun again, sort of a thing. Wow, this is, I am good with the words today. I am going to blame it on having been pink-eyed. How many, how many things can I use that excuse for? That's what I want to know. Can I, can I keep saying, oh, well, I've had pink eye and, and just get out of all my adult responsibilities? Because that would be wonderful. I often feel a lot of pressure to make something that is super high quality, like a masterpiece every single time I sit down to paint something. And I always want to push myself to do better than before, but when I've got these new materials in my hand, there isn't really a before, so I don't really have as much pressure internally to do something really you know a lot better than what I have done before because I haven't used these before so there's no benchmark and so I'm having a lot of fun with it I was surprised because the marker it did come fairly clean and stay pretty clean it wasn't like permanently stained after dipping it in the brown ink or watercolor whatever the heck it is and I also was using the blue micron sort of pen to color the tip of the peach marker and it it's pulled out the blue ink and it also did a gradient with that and it came out when I was done it didn't stay blue so I yeah I really enjoyed all of these products and I think I'm actually gonna buy some more of these Ecoline 
um, markers and the watercolor because it was so fun to sketch with it and I think that that might possibly be a, a new sketchbook possibility for me in the future. I'm not sure, but I, I really did like these markers a lot. So that was pretty much it. And of course I used my very favorite new thing, the white pit artist pen from last month's Art Snacks, which has gotten used for a lot of things. So I'm gonna have to buy another one pretty soon because it's been very handy. Well, that is it for this month's art snacks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, maybe go throw me a couple of bucks at Patreon at patreon.com slash Tito Paints. I also post special videos for the $5 plus patrons that are longer and have more painting and some technical stuff in them. You can also support my art by shopping at www.titoland.com. That is a studio shop, meaning every single thing on there comes directly from my studio. And I personally sign, package, and print a lot of it myself. So yeah, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys next week, hopefully for like a real painting video. I've been sick so much lately, it just hasn't happened, but... Hopefully, next month will be different. This month. This month. It is March now. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a great Tuesday.